guys hello welcome to my channel i had so much fun creating this soft smoky eye look today you'll see what palette i am using may even be the title of the video i wanted to create something a little bit more neutral just to match what i'm wearing so if you want to see how to create this look and maybe inspire yourself to do something like this or just watch for the benefit of learning then just stay here and let's begin well you can already tell that i have used my coty air spun to bake my face so i've been leaving that on since i've been having to look for a couple of things this morning but it's a good morning everything's working out how it should be and things that may not be where they should be will turn up. I truly believe it. So um, I've already done this eye and I'm gonna do this eye with you guys right now. Just going to conceal the eyelid first. And the brush that I used this morning was a unicorn brush. Uh, now I'm just trying to figure out, remember, here we go. So let's get that on the lid. Pretty happy about how this eye look has turned out so I'm looking forward to the other one being symmetrical hope you guys are doing fantastic as per usual get this in the camera a little bit better um, and then I will set my eye I think I used one or two palettes today had to use a mixture because there were some colours that some palettes had that others did not. Alright, let's see if I can work this out. Getting a... Well, using a powder to set down my eyelid so I can get on with the rest of my eyeshadow. So tell me you guys what makes you unique do you have an interest in animals are you currently working part-time full-time i noticed that there was a comment about me being a being in a beauty salon and i thought that was actually really nice because i don't have a beauty salon but <clears throat> i was in a makeup and skincare business doing that full-time and I had a team of 20 to 30 women. All right, so the palette I want to use today, I know I'm sort of skipping, skipping with the content and um, conversation. I want to use my, I'm pretty sure it's my Barbie palette. My Barbie, uh, Barbie X BYS palette. I have used it before. Oh my gosh, I'm repeating myself. I like the fact that it's got matte shades, shimmer, even glitter shades, and on top of that, it's both neutral and pink tones. These are the bright ones though, because you're thinking of Barbie. I'm gonna start off with this matte brown shade here with the BYS, uh, sorry, with the BH Cosmetics number no. eight brush. And I'm just going to pack that into my lid today. I think I ended up doing more of a smoky eye. to get this unicorn brush here this is a much darker brown shade probably even one or two shades darker than this one here doesn't have a name so I cannot tell you the shade name but I think you get the idea that now I'm moving from a lighter to a darker shade of eyeshadow packing that 
on the outer corner of my eyelid. And then I did need to use this Sunset palette with this brush here. It's the Jessup 230 Luxe Pencil. Because it's a pencil brush, obviously it's going to be a little bit more defined. Um, using the Midnight Matte Black Shade and packing that also on my outer corner. But only focusing it lid itself I'm going to place this shade here which is oh it's such a beautiful shade in the Barbie palette just using my finger let's see if we can get some of that on the back of my hand so you guys get an idea of how it looks because um, my lips are pink today I'm using the same uh, products I used on my lips yesterday because I really, I'm really obsessed with that combination. So I thought I would wear it again today, especially so I can remember in the future. And going back in, giving everything a smooth transition. If you feel like the shades have gone up a little bit too far, obviously you can go back in with the first crease shade and just blend over the top so it's not so high. I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'm going to use my black liner. It's a, just a liquid liner. You don't have to use a pen. I just find pens are easier to control than say gel liner or... I'm just trying to think of the other liquid liners out there. Box mascara, which is what I used yesterday. I really love this. Which is the midi palette feeling myself it's an ofra highlight uh, pan where you've got three different shades so i'm thinking the shade i'd like to use today is the one in the middle again it has a pink undertone i just think that that will work with the soft pink shades i've got or even you might I wouldn't even consider it like bright pink. Um, it's not bright pink. It's... But of course, if you've got any questions about the blush or highlighter that I'm using, make sure I list it below so you guys can check that out. Um, highlight, here we go. Let's get the fan brush. That's the thing with uh, Ofra highlighters. They certainly do stand up. I mean, look at that. I'm only softly brushing it onto my skin and in a flash. No pressure, no... I'm not, you know, having to use force for this to show up really good on my skin. I 
do we think? Oh, check out that shine. It's so beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do now is use my beauty blender and set it down on my face. Whoops. This palette has um, some stuff going on. Some paper falling out. This is the final look. It feels so good. I feel complete when I have finished my look as well as doing my hair because then I know this is how I want you to see what it looks like when everything is, well, the best presentation it can possibly be. So I want to thank you guys for joining me again today as I created this soft, smoky eye look using the Barbie X BYS palette. Maybe. You were thinking that by having a Barbie palette we would go really bright and bold with colours and we can absolutely do that. I just had this feeling that because of what I'm wearing maybe I needed to uh, make it more neutral but with a touch of shimmer pink to just give it a little bit of life. You know what I'm saying? And also because my lips are pink it just made sense that I would find a way to match my eyes with my lips a little bit more. I am so glad to be here with you guys and continue filming every day so that I'm learning more about what sort of looks I can do. Of course, if you want to see more, then all you need to do, and if you want to, of course, is press the like button and subscribe. It does mean a lot to me because at least we can share this inspiration with others and um, I just love being able to get up here and have fun. Have a great rest of the week because you absolutely deserve it. Bye bye now.